Hi, this is Joe Forget from the Cloud Provider Product Team at VMware. And I'm here to talk to you today about vCloud Director 9.7 and our new set of functionality that we're rolling out that we refer to as Centralized Point of Management, or CPOM for short. To set this up, we'll first talk about the classic use case and the way VCD is typically used. On this side, what we have are a couple of tenants that are accessing some cloud resources that are being offered up by a VMware cloud provider. What we have is a shared vCenter, and on this shared vCenter are a couple of organizational virtual data centers, or org VDCs, that they're getting those uh, cloud resources from. Now VCD sits in here in the middle as an abstraction layer, and these tenants are accessing these resources, these org VDCs, via a portal, a tenant portal that they authenticate against to be able to get to these uh, shared uh, cloud resources. Another very common way for tenants to access VMware-based cloud resources is via dedicated vCenters. And in this way, what we have are a couple of tenants that have an entire vCenter dedicated just to them. But this scenario has a couple of pain points that I'd like to point out. First of all, there's no portal by which these tenants can access these dedicated vCenters. So that means the cloud service provider needs to email around links and bookmarks to the vSphere web UI for these tenants to be able to access these dedicated vCenters. There also is no opportunity for a branded, customized experience by which these tenants are going to be consuming these cloud resources. And of course, the vSphere web UI typically wouldn't be offered on the public internet. So that means a VPN is going to be necessary for these tenants to be able to access these dedicated vCenters, which can be a, a, a cumbersome uh, solution to set up and maintain. And finally, there are going to be limited access control options for the cloud service provider to be able to control which users can access which cloud resources on these dedicated vCenters. So what we decided to do with centralized point of management was to extend the VCD use case for these shared vCenters and extend them over to be able to address the dedicated vCenter use case as well. So what happens is that VCD now is able to offer a portal experience for these tenants to be able to access these dedicated vCenters. What happens is when a tenant accesses the dedicated vCenter via the VCD portal, they're going to access it via an SDDC object within uh, VCD. When they click on this SDDC object, they're going to launch a proxied connection to the vSphere web UI. Now this proxied connection means that a VPN is no longer necessary for the tenant to access the dedicated vCenter. And we're now able to offer a new use case in which a tenant is able to access both a dedicated vCenter as well as shared cloud resources that would be available via the same tenant portal. So via the VCD portal, they can access an SDDC via for the dedicated vCenter as well as an org VDC for this shared vCenter. And perhaps this shared vCenter is hosting less critical applications for this tenant, while the dedicated uh, vCenter is hosting more mission critical applications. And in this way, they can consume two different tiers of cloud resources, probably at two different price points. Well, thanks for listening. In our next video, we're going to talk about how VCD's centralized point of management can be utilized as an API endpoint for cloud service providers to be able to manage their vSphere estate.